just a little bit of preparation. I'll let you know when I'm stuck. Okay. Hmm, forgot. Totally. All right. Here we go. Okay. Hi. Welcome everyone. Welcome to the yoga session. So today we will start a seating. Come to the center of your mat and sit in my center. Just like me. Crossing your leg in front of you, make sure you're finding a very easy seating for you. Sit in nice and tall so you can relax your shoulder away from your ear. So you can rest your palms on top of your legs. Once you are settling down, starting to close your eyes. Bring your attention, bring your awareness back into your body. Starting to take a deep breath in and take a deep breath out. Just find your natural breathing. No need in hurry. We have the full hours for ourselves to take care of our own body. So take your time. Let your body in sync with your breathing. Just like that. Starting to, in, to take a deeper inhale through your nose. Slowly to take it out through your nose as well. Another deep breath in. Another deep breath out. All right, while you are attending to your breath, we're going to practice this breathing technique. It's called eco breathing. So that means you have equal count of inhale and you have an equal count of exhale. So let's make it into the counting so we can be mindfully knowing and really focus on our breathing without any other distractions. So that started with the count of four. You can keep your eyes closed or if you want to keep your eyes open, it's okay too. All right, starting with your inhale to one, two, three, four, and exhale for one, two, three, four. As easy as that. Next one, we are going to increase to five. So take a deep inhale to one, two, three, four, Five and exhale. One, two, three, four, five. Next one, we are going to increase to six. So inhale for one, two, three, four, five, six. And exhale. One, two, three, four, five, six, as you get longer, slowly pace your inhale and exhale. Next one, we're going to seven. Take a deep inhale through one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and exhale to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Last run, we are going to increase to eight. Take a deep inhale to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and exhale it to one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, and that's it. Returning back to your breathing, noticing whether it gets much, much deeper than you started. This is a good technique that can 
bring your awareness and all your concentration on your breathing without distraction. So slowly bring your eyes open. Let's chin to the crossing of our legs. Bring the other legs forward, still sitting nice and tall. We started with a twisting. So when you're ready, slowly walk your hands over to your right. Bring your right hands on top of your right knee. Uh, left hands on the right knee. Your right hand is an anchor to the back. This is still early in the practice, so if you're twisting, if you're not going deep enough, it's okay. Just slight twisting, wake up your spine. One more breath on your own. All right, when you're ready, slowly bring yourself back to center. Then you can slowly and starting to walk your hands over to the left. Anchor your left hands to the back, your right hands on top of your knee. You can always help to push the knees a little bit more. See if you can turn the gaze over to your shoulder to the back. Take a deep breath in here. Take a deep breath out. Slowly bring yourself back to center, hands down by your side. Take a deep inhale, bring your arms all the way up to the sky. Lower your hands down to your heart. Starting to fall forward a little bit, walk your hand forward. Drape your head down, chins to your chest. Just hang yourself on the ground. Take a deep breath in here. Take a deep breath out here. One more breath on your own. All right, when you're ready, slowly walk your hand toward yourself, ease your way up. From here, extending your right leg out to the side. Keep your left leg close to you. Anchoring your right leg by bringing your toes all the way up to the sky. We started with the twist as we start. Walk your hands over to the left. Your left hands on top of your knees, your right, left hands to the back. Give yourself a nice twist from here, feeling your right leg is going away from you. Every inhale, lengthening through your spine. Exhale, you can look over to your left shoulder, that will be great. Take a deep breath in. Take a deep breath out. Right, slowly bring yourself back to center. You're going to walk your hands over to the right and lower your right hand in the back. From here, you can bring your left hands up and overhead, just opening with, with sitting on the ground. Or you can anchor through your legs and lift yourself up, give yourself a little bit more opening from here. Take a deep breath in here. Take a deep breath out here. All right, when you're ready, slowly bring yourself back down, seating. Use both of your hands to bring your right leg in, and then extending your left leg out. We're going to do the same thing on the left side. Take enough time to settle down your foundation. So no matter what you twist and lift, you will feel very comfortable from here. So walk your hands over to the right. Twisting to the right, so right hand is an anchor. The same pushing of your left hands against your right knee will help a little bit. Observing the difference of your hip opening here. Take a deep breath in. And take a deep breath out. All right, when you're ready, slowly bring yourself back to center. Now walk your hands to your opposite side. Keep your left hands to the back. Make sure if you want to lift yourself up, give yourself enough space and reach your arm up and overhead. Let your arm guide you how much opening you want for your body. Take a deep breath in here. And take a deep breath out. Alright, slowly lower yourself all the way down to the ground. 
and bring your leg back in. Good enough on the ground, so lower your hands in front of you. Slowly ease your way up to tabletop. Couple rounds of cat and cow to wake up your spine. Inhale, dropping your belly, lifting through your heart. Exhale, round and curve your back. Inhale, lifting through your heart. Exhale, round and curve your back. One more run. Inhale to your cow pose. Exhale, round and curve your back. Slowly bring yourself back to center. Take a deep inhale, bring your right leg to the back. Only your leg is extending. Engage your core, keep your crown forward. Take a deep inhale, lengthening through your spine. Exhale, round and curve your back. Bring your knees to your nose. Curl yourself into a bow. Inhale, extending, lengthening. Exhale, round and curve your back. Inhale, lengthening. Exhale, round and curve your back. Take the knees as forward as you can. Stretch it on over to your right side. Open up your leg in the back and walk your hands back. Sit in between your leg and sitting nice and tall. Prepare for our cow face pose from here. Inhale, bring your arms all the way up. With your left knee on the top, we are bending our left elbow, using the other hands to help you. Sitting nice and tall, open it up your chest a little bit more. Stay here if you want to stay on the half cow face pose. If you want to walk the other hands out and back, walk your hands up to your spine and meet your fingers in the back, that will work too. Whether your fingers and me or not, make sure you're not crunching. Take a deep breath in here. Take a deep breath out here. One more breath on your own. All right, when you're ready, slowly reach both of your arm all the way up to the sky. Lower your hands down so you can ease your way up back to tabletop. Unwind your legs all the way to the back and give it a good extension from here. And then lower your knees down to the ground. Let's do it on the other side. It could be left, it could be right. The other leg is extending. Create some space for your spine to roll. Exhale, roll your knees to your nose. Curl yourself into a ball. Inhale, extending. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, extending. Exhale, bring your knees to nose. And then bring the shreds and legs to the opposite direction. Open up your legs, walk your hand back. Safely sitting in between your legs. Take a deep inhale, bring your arm back up to the sky. Tapping your upper legs the same direction here and bring your hands to edit. Elbow up and back, maybe your arm behind your ear. Take a deep breath in. And take a deep breath out depending, deciding how you want to do your cow face. Bring your hands to the back and up. Maybe you will find more opening here than before. Something that works, take note. Take a deep breath in here. Take a deep breath out here. One more breath on your own. All right, slowly release your hands back up to the sky. This time we are not going back to tabletop. Just lower your hands down to your heart. And when you're ready, bring both of your legs forward one at a time. Adjust your seatings if you want to come back to the center of the mat. Bending through your knees, hug your knee in. Hug the knee in as tight as you can. We will start it with a boat pose. 
Bring your legs away from the floor. Keep the shin parallel to the ground. You can keep your hands behind your thigh the whole time. But make sure you engage your core, lifting your heart toward your front knees. And of course, full bow pose is releasing your hands and let your core just supporting you. All right, take a deep breath in here. Take a deep breath out here. All right, we're going to float this boat a little bit. So this is what we are going to do. You're going to use both of your hands to bring your left, right knee in and extending your left leg forward. And take a deep exhale here. On your next inhale, we are going to switch side, your left knee in, your right leg forward. So we count it as one run. We are going to do three more runs from here. So round two to the right, knee, right knee in, extending your left leg forward, keep everything covered the whole time. Second round, so your left knee in, your right leg forward. Core is getting stronger. Third round, your right knee in, extending your leg forward. And third round, your left knee in, your right leg forward. Last one, bring your right knee in, extending your left leg forward. Last one, have in the, the left, left leg in. Okay, so coming back to your right knee in, this time you're going to lower your left leg down to the ground. Playing your right ankles on top of your left. There's a little figure four in front of yours. So you can walk your hand in the back. Our purpose is to bring your hearts closer to your shin and just sit in my simple here. If you don't need your hands to support you, you can bring your hands to your leg and pull it closer. That will work too. Up to you. I just suggest to use your hand to help pushing your body closer to your shin. All right, take a deep breath in here. Take a deep breath out here. All right, we're going to release from here. So you're going to walk your hands away from you, pointing your fingers toward your hip. Keep your leg where they are. Take a deep inhale, lift your pelvis up to the sky, lift your hip away from the floor, make your body parallel to the ground. Reverse table with your figure four leg. Take a deep breath in here. Take a deep breath out here. All right, slowly lower your hip all the way down to the ground. That's our right side. Not do that. Use your hands to hug that right knee in, extending your left leg forward. Remember, we are switching, switching to the left knee in, extending your right leg forward. Now your right leg is the anchor. You're placing your left ankles on top of your right. Again, keep your hands on your leg or bring your hands to the back. You can always walk your hand toward yourself a little bit more so you know when you push it. Your heart, your body is getting closer to your firm shin. Take a deep breath in here. Take a deep breath out here. Another breath, take a note of how your body feels. And then we're going to stretch it. Walk your hands away. Give yourself enough foundation so that you can lift your hip away from the floor. Open it up, your heart up to the sky. If you drink your head to the back, make sure you can breathe. Take a deep breath in here. Take a deep breath out here. One more breath on your own. All right, slowly lower yourself all the way back down. Good, hop your left knee in, extending your right leg forward. We are coming back to the kicking a little bit more, so bring your right leg in, left leg out. Switch into the left, hop that left knee even more, right leg forward. That's round one. 
Coming back to round two to the right. Round two to the left. Last round to the right. And last round to the left. Cool. Come back to your right side and lower your left leg all the way down to the ground. This time, I think your right leg is get used to this already. You're going to bring your shin parallels to your heart. You can bring your hands lower your legs and hug it in a little bit more. Or you can wrap your hands around your legs. It's like your baby. We call this rocking your baby. Meaning you can rock it from side to side. Feeling the opening of your hip. All right, take a deep breath in there. Take a deep breath out here. Okay, you have a decision to make. Slowly rock yourself back to center. Your left leg's on the ground, so you can keep it extended, or you can bend it through and bring it in. It can become a good, good foundation for you. As for your upper leg, you're going to lift it forward. You can keep it bending like this, or you can grab hold of your big toes and just kick it forward. Give it a good stretch on your hamstring. If that is too far away from you, grabbing the ankles or your shins is actually working too. Up to you. All right, take a deep breath in here. Take a deep breath out here. All right, the next one will be totally optional. You can continue to keep your leg forward. If you want to open it out to the side, please do. Make sure you're sitting nice and tall so you don't flip. And if you want to add on to, to stretch your shoulder and look over to your left shoulder, that would be awesome. Take a deep breath in here. Take a deep breath out here. One more breath on your own. All right, slowly bring yourself back to center. That's good. Hug the knee in as we did earlier, extending your front leg out. Now switch to the other side, the other leg in. Your right leg down to the ground. The same thing here, rocking our baby. Bring your shin parallels to your heart, using your hands to pull it in a little bit more or rest, wrap your hands around the leg. If you can interlace your fingers, it's really like rocking your baby on your, on your arms. So take your time, feeling the opening, feeling the freedom of your hip. Take a deep breath in here. Take a deep breath out here. And of course, on the same time, when you rock yourself back to center, decide whether you want your leg extended or you want it in. Your choice. So, when you're ready, have happy baby or extending through your leg, either way will do, depending on how your hamstring feels. Always have modification so your body can accept it. That's the purpose of yoga. All right, the other hands, just anchor your right side down. Take a deep breath in here. Take a deep breath out here. So if you are like me on the half happy baby or extending your leg, either way you will be able to open up your leg out to the side. It's totally up to you. And then adding on a stretch of your neck and bring, look over to your right shoulder. Take a deep breath in here. Take a deep breath out here. All right, slowly bring yourself, bring everything back to center, cross your leg in front of you. Good enough, we've been on the ground for a very long time. So bring yourself up to your tabletop. And when you're ready, curl your back toes under. Let's come to the down dog already. I hope you miss the down dog as much as I do. So I can feel the strength of my core. I 
I can spread my fingers out wide. I can stretch in through my shoulder. I can feel the stretching of my hamstring as well. Maybe not your head, yes and no. So add any tensions on your head and neck, it can go away. All right, take a deep breath in here. Take a deep breath out here. One more breath, set up your mindset, changing our flows next. And now bring your right leg all the way up to the sky. Bending through your knees, stepping forward in between your hands. Take a deep breath in and turn your back heel down. Prepare for your warrior one. And you can take as long as you can to stand up at your foundation. Otherwise, reach your arm up and overhead, keep it by your ear. Continue to bend through your knees, sit down a little bit more. As for your arms, if you can, wrap your arms together, cross your hands and turn your palms together. If you can reach your fingers all the way up to the sky, feel this different stretch of your shoulder. Take the inhale from here. Exhale, you can open up your arm to cactus. Bending through your elbow, open it up your chest. Take another deep inhale here. Exhale, bring your hands to the back. You can interlace your fingers or you can grab hold of your opposite elbow. On your next inhale, stretching, open it up your shoulder furthermore. Exhale, you're going to lean your heart forward. Humble your warrior. You can hover yourself on top of your thigh or you can continue to drop your shoulder to the inside of your knees. Make sure your elbow is up to the sky. Make sure your knuckles pushing up to the sky, depending on how your shoulder is opening. Take a deep breath in here. Take a deep breath out here. All right, slowly lift yourself up a little bit more. Or lower both of your hands down to the ground. We find for vinyasa from here, step your front leg back. One legged or full plank, it will be your choice. Lower yourself halfway, bending through your elbow. Top of the feet down on the ground. Inhale, lift yourself up to your upward facing dog. Roll over your toes on your exhale. We can come back to downward facing dog. Breathe. Humble warrior flow on your right side. Just complete it. Take a deep breath in here. Take a deep breath out here. Left side, inhale, lift your left leg up. Bending through your knee, roll your shoulder forward, stepping your legs down on the ground. Turn your right heels down, anchor it down to the ground. Reaching your arm forward and up. Square your shoulder forward, square your hip forward. Warrior one. All right, take a deep breath in here. Take a deep breath out if you want to. Crossing your hands again, turn your palms together. Give it a good stretch of your shoulder all the way up. One more inhale here. On your next exhale, open up all your arms. Give your elbows a good knocking down. Another deep inhale here. Exhale, bring your hands to the back and interlace your fingers. Continue to walk that back leg down toward your back leg. Another deep inhale here. On your next exhale, starting to lift your heart forward and down. You don't really need to lower your shoulder all the way down. A little bit hovering is good. Depending on how stretching your hip will be, how strong your leg will be. Stay where your body allows you. Take a deep breath in here. Take a deep breath out here. 
All right, keep your body low, so when you release your hands down to the ground, so you can frame your front leg. Step your front leg back to your one-legged plank, so full plank. Find your vinyasa from here, bend through your elbow, lowering your all the way or halfway. Top of the feet down on the ground, lift yourself up to upward facing dog. Make sure you're hovering your thigh, your knees away from the floor. And then turn your back toes under, lift your hip up and back down, we're facing down. Take a deep breath in here. Take a deep breath out here. One more breath on your own. All right, when you're ready, slowly roll your shoulder forward to plank. Lower yourself all the way down to the ground. A little bit of rest between our clothes will be good. Keep your heels down by your side, your chin to the center of the mat. Take a deep breath in here. Take a deep breath out here. So locus pose from here. When you are ready on your next inhale, you're going to lift it through your heart, lift your leg away. Your fingers can be a good stretching and good indication for you to lengthening through your lower body. Your heart, your gaze is looking forward. Everything is stretching and long. Continue to breathe here. Feel your body floating on the ground. Take a deep breath in here. Take a deep breath out here. One more breath on your own. Cool, you deserve a rest. To lower yourself all the way down, right cheek down on the ground, and just relax. If you feel your shoulder is pointing, it's relaxing down on the ground, that's all it takes. Soften your muscle that everything does. Good. One more breath on your own. I bet you can't wait for the next one. Turn your chin back to the center of the mat. Second round of the locust pose. Take a deep inhale, lift everything away from the floor. Feeling your core is anchoring down on the ground. You feel strength. You feel this lengthening is loosening up actually the, your lower back. Take a deep breath in here. Take a deep breath out. If you want to go a little bit further, bend through your knee, hands to the top of your leg. When you kick your leg against your hands, be surprised. You can lift yourself up a little bit more. Make sure you breathe through the whole thing. Just like me, put a smile on your face. Take a deep breath in here. Take a deep breath out here. One more breath on your own. Good job, slowly lower everything down. Now do you feel that you really need that rest? Let you down on the ground, your shoulder forward. Take a deep breath in if your breath becomes shallow. Just returning to your natural breath. And let it take time, allow it time to return it to your regular breathing. Take a deep breath in here. Take a deep breath out here. Okay, slowly bring your chin back to the center of the mat. Hands to your mid rib cage. Hop your elbow in, curl your back toes under. Slowly lift yourself up to your plank. Slowly. Or quickly, lift your head up and back, come back to your down dog. All right, take a deep breath in here. Take a deep breath out here. Okay, our next pose, starting from the right. Inhale, bring your right leg all the way up to the sky. Bend through the knees, step it forward in between your hands. 
This time we are going to go into the low lunge. So lower your left knee down. Maybe walk your left knee forward a little. We are going to place your right hands on top of your right knee and starting to twist. So pushing the knees away from you. And from this point, I want you to focus on lower your right side, a left side down toward the ground as close as you can. The closer, the better. So just let it sink in down. If you already feel your hip is touching the ground, perfect, all right? Continue to twist and take your time observing your body. Take a deep breath in here and take a deep breath out here. And there's a reason for this. So for your upper hands, find some way, somewhere that you can anchor it. You're going to lower your hip all the way down and starting to here tow your front leg away because eventually you're going to bring that leg swing to the back, bending through your knees, and you're going to lower that legs behind you somewhere. Make sure that you have a good support from here because we are going to open up our heart. Bring your right hands up and overhead if you want to open from here. Of course, you have another option. If you want to anchor through your leg and lift yourself up and over, wild thing. Why not? This is more stretching. It actually feels much, much better than sitting on the ground. Take a deep breath in and take a deep breath out. Maybe take your right hands to your heart, feeling all the joys. One more breath on your own. All right, when you're ready, reach your right hands back up. You're going to slowly lower yourself down, just sitting on the ground, nowhere else. And then come back to center, you are finding that you are actually facing your legs. Perfect, right? Hug your knee in, sitting nice and tall. Inhale. Exhale, you are going to twist over your bending knees. Over to your right side, I believe. Your right hand says in anchor. Your left elbow to the outside. Give yourself a nice twist from here. Take your deep breath in here. Take a deep breath out of here. One more breath on your own. Cool. Slowly come back to center. I just saw this flow somewhere else. I find it's very cool. So I just want to do it. Okay, so we are going to flip it back to our mat. So make sure your back leg is supporting you. You can come back to your plank. One legged or full, find your vinyasa from here, top of the feet down on the ground, lift in through your heart, turn over your toes, lift your hip up and back, downward facing dog. Perfect. Take a deep breath in here. Take a deep breath out here. Now that you know what happened, we're going to do it on the other side. Take a deep inhale, bring your left leg all the way up to the sky. Bending through your knees, step it forward in between your hands. I forgot. I actually want to turn it out and you don't need to. I will. Because I don't want to face in the back. Okay, lower your right knee down to the ground. Make sure your right side is sinking down as much as you can. Your left hand is on top of your knee. Push it away. And starting to twist yourself over and see if you can see the back of the wall. Take a deep breath in here. Take a deep breath out here again at the same time. Make sure your left hip, the right hip down to the ground as much as you can. Okay, so to our next transition, make sure your hand has a good support. Make sure your leg can start to keep your toes. So you can swing that leg up and over and bring it to the back, anchoring somewhere. Reaching your right arm up and overhead, left arm, sorry, up and overhead, and give yourself a nice opening from here. Push it through both of your legs, give your hands a good support here. 
Take a deep breath in. And take a deep breath out to bring your left hands to your heart. Feel all the joys of opening. One more breath on your own. All right, can't wait to lower it down. Slowly lower your hip all the way down. No twist, no nothing. Just come back to center. Hop your bending knee in as close to you as possible. So you know that which parts you're going to twist. So turn yourself over to your bending knees. You can hop the knee in with the twist, or you can bring the elbow to the ball side. It will be your choice. Take a deep breath in here. Take a deep breath out here. All right, one more breath on your own. Cool, so to bring yourself back to center already. Now walk your hand to the opposite direction. We are coming back to our mat. And make sure that when you flip, your leg can support you. Come back to your plank, one leg at full full. Lower yourself, have one last vinyasa. Or you can go straight back to downward facing dog. Your choice. Lift your head up and back down, we're facing dog. Good job, breathe. Awesome. Take a deep breath in here. Take a deep breath out here. All right, one more breath on your own. Cool, that's it. Come to your tippy toes, inhale. Bend through your knee, look forward. We're coming to the front of the mat seating, so take your time. When you hop, cross your leg in front of you and sit nice and tall, that's it. Bring your knee in front of you, keep that knee bent. Sitting, switching your position to the front of the mat because we are coming down soon. Take a deep breath in here. Take a deep breath out. So you have two ways to come down to your back. One is you just keep anchoring your leg down and starting to lower it down. Sounds like there's no challenging. So I'll make it a little bit more challenging. You can interlace your fingers and bring that leg away from you. Take a deep inhale, lengthening through your spine. Exhale, bring your knees to your nose, curl yourself into a ball. Right now, you totally use your, your core to control your rolling. So make sure your back is like a wheel. The runner, the better, it will protect your lower back. So slowly roll yourself back. Your lower back is first, your spine, the necks, and then your shoulder, and then your head. Your knees still on top of your chest. We are here, congratulations. You can rock yourself from side to side now. Good job. Take a deep breath in. And take a deep breath out. Okay, slowly rock yourself back to center. Open your hands out to a T. Keep both of your legs all the way up to the sky. Inhale. And then open it up to a V. So we are going to do the eagle pose down here. So let's take care of our arm first to bring your arm back in, right hands on top of your left. Bend through your elbow, wrap your fingers together. Place your elbow on top of your chest, your fingertips pointing to the back. And then let's take care of our legs, bring your right leg on top. Bend through your knee. You might be able to wrap it around, maybe not. Keep your knee on top of your head, your toes forward. One full breath on your own. One inhale and one exhale. All right, we're going to crunch in a little bit. So on your next exhale, slowly bring your shoulder away, bring your elbow and knees together, crunch it together. Inhale, we return to our opening. Lower your head down, pointing your fingers away, open. 
Exhale, crunch. Bring everything to the center. Inhale, open. Exhale, crunch. Inhale, open and relax. Exhale, crunch. Inhale, open. Let's do it one last time, crunching. That's it, coming back to center. Now you open it up, your hands out to a T, your arm tingle, your leg out to a V. Come back to where we are. Take a deep breath in here. Take a deep breath out, bring your left hands in, wrap it in the different directions and bring it around. Same elbow on top of your chest, your fingers to the back. And our leg, the same thing, your left leg on top of your right. Maybe you can wrap it around here, maybe not, just cross it, it's okay. Take another deep breath in and out just to get ready. So on your next exhale, you're going to lift it through your shoulder, crunch everything together. Inhale, open it up, maybe bring the fingers and toes a little bit further. Exhale, in, that's room two. Inhale, open it up. Three more, crunch in. Inhale, open it up. Two more, crunch in. Inhale, open it up. Last one, bring everything together. Inhale, open it up. Good job. Open your hands out to a T. Open your legs out to a V. Take a deep breath in here. Take a deep breath out. We are going to bring our leg back in again. Right leg on top of your left to wrap it around. And we are going twist from here. So nothing more crunching now. And slowly bring your knees over to your right side. Uh, left side. If you're right leg on top, you're rolling yourself over to the left. And vice versa. And you'll turn your gaze over to different directions, the opposite directions of your knee. Take a deep breath in here. Take a deep breath out here. If we want to close our eyes, just let go. Feeling this deeper twist, deeper stretch on the lower back. One more breath on your own. And when you're ready, slowly bring yourself back to center. And once you are in the center, you can unwrap your leg so you can give it a good stretch. Before we do it on the other side, and on your next exhale, bring your leg back in. Your left leg on top, maybe crossing it a little bit more. And no matter what you do, you just slowly lower it over to the right. Make sure your legs in some way can support you. Turn your gaze over to the opposite directions. Some people like to close their eyes to enjoy this stretch. You can do that too. Take a deep breath in here. Take a deep breath out here. One more breath on your own. All right, slowly bring yourself back to center already. Open it up your legs, give it a good stretch. And then from this point on, our last pose will be happy baby. So bend through your knees, bring the knees on either side of your body, reaching your hands to your toes, reaching your hands to your ankles, up to you. If you like to rock your baby from side to side, please do. If not, continue to pull the knees closer to your body. It's actually a lot more opening than walking. So it depends on how your body like. Take a deep breath in here. Take a deep breath out here. 
Or if you cannot wait for Shavasana, of course, you can continue, you can start to transform yourself into Shavasana, or continue to stay here if you like your happy baby. All right, if you choose to come back to come to Shavasana, use your hands to bring your knee in, lower your hands down by your side, extending your leg one at a time. And turn your palms up to the sky and walk your hands away from you. Ah. Let everything go. Close your eyes. Feeling your body like floating on the ground. Feel the light of the light of the weight. Mm. It's interesting. Feeling all this support coming from underneath your body. Your body melting away. And let all the tension just go away. Maybe those tension is accumulating for a very long time, for a couple of days or from this morning, just let it go. The practice of yoga is actually provides you a body, a means to start open. So when it comes to Shavasana, that you need to relax, you can starting to feel it. Instead of continuing just holding it in, Focus on your breathing. Breathe into any areas that are still holding those tension. And if by now any thoughts are still popping in and up and down, just recognize and let it fade. It will slowly fade you away. Take your time. Find this space and time on your own. Let the Shavasana calm yourself down. Let the Shavasana help you to look within and look at what you are, what you were, and what you, what you will be in the future. If you feel like the outside world right now is so uncertain, is so much chaos, starting to look within and find a strength within you. Sometimes if you want to walk away from what you see, what you read, just do it. You can find your favorite book just to read it. You can have a cup of coffee just to sip it. You can list a self-care, whatever you want to do, and just do it. Or just go outside, just look around. This is the, your reality, this is where you are. Recall your, recall your passion what you want to do, what you have been doing. Return your original state of mind, and that's where you're starting to cultivate in your strength. You do know what you're doing, and you're doing it well. All right, if your breath is already deep, take it even deeper. Come so deep that it can fill up your lungs, they can get it all the way down to your entire body. Take a deep breath in and take a deep breath out. Moving your fingers and toes, slowly wake yourself up one little part at a time. Make circles of your wrists. Make circles of your ankles. Rock your head from side to side. Wake yourself up. 
Bringing your knees to your chest one at a time and use your hands to hop the knee in. Gently tip yourself over to your favorite side. Lay yourself down on the ground and maybe bring the knee a little bit closer to your forehead. Take another deep breath in. And maybe exhale, you want to put it out, to side it out, everything through your mouth, so you can do that. And extending through your leg, pushing your hands down to the ground, slowly ease your way up ceiling. Keep your eyes closed, keep your body soft. Slowly bring yourself back up sitting, crossing your leg in front of you. Your palms on top of your laps, feeling nice and tall. Take another deep breath in here. Take a deep breath out, bring your hands to your heart. Lower your chins toward your fingers. And bounce into that light that's shining within your heart. Recognize that that strength is just slowly cultivating. And take good care of yourself. When you can take care of yourself, then we can take care of everybody else around us. That is make the place a better one. That is make the world a better one. Do what you do. Thank you all. My heart to yours. Namaste. Thank you for joining me on Wednesday. Hope you have a good weekend. Have a good day. Have a good night. Thank you all. Hope you all have a good day. How's the flowing going so far? <laughs> Thank you, Serena. No problem. It's Sound was good. Sound was okay. Okay, cool. Still, still kind of echoey, but not as bad. So it was pretty good. It's a huge area. So <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, was good though. It was good. Yeah. Thanks. How about you? Did you smell all the smoke from your area, or is it okay? No, oh, no, because I'm uh, in the San Fernando Valley, so um, luckily here for this time around, I'm not not in that Orange County area. Yeah, <laughs> so good for you. We are like very hard to get outside, and even on the inside, I can smell the smoke. <laughs> Ooh, that's not good. I know in your your Monday session, that's what you were saying. Right? Yeah. Yeah, because Monday is when it starts, and when I, I smelled it within my house, I was like, oh, so what's going on? When I opened the door, I was like, oh, that's even worse. I oh, closed yeah, it yeah. immediately. No, stay indoors. You, know, you don't want to get sick from all that. Yeah, particles. definitely. Yeah. So, yeah. And you too, all take right. good care of yourself. Yeah, same here. I mean, you, you do the same, you know, especially since you're in that area where the particles are. Yeah, I'll be careful. Thank yeah. you. So let me know when, when you want to do lunch. Sure. Yeah, well, Zoom, right? I, I'm not going to drive anywhere. But I'll, I will let you know when I come to that area. Uh -huh. So we can do an outdoor lunch or something. Yeah, when the fire go down a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> Don't come. <laughs> for sure, for yeah. sure. Yeah. Okay, cool. Okay, all right. You take care now. You too. Have a good day. Bye.